Just call me when you need my services. I'm getting as far away from this dump as possible. See yous. Yeah, thanks. So, here we are, kitty. Fishmouth. <sighs> Is this foul, rotting sea life odor in any way mouth-watering to you? Please, it's sickening, and I'd literally rather be anywhere else right now, but we've got a job to do. Let's find Finman's before we revisit my lunch and dinner. It's a kid and her dog staring down at the water. It's a thuggish looking big guy smoking a horribly stinky cigarette. A couple of Fishmuthians. Looks like they're guarding that archway there. Hey, folks. Mind if I squeeze through? We don't mind or nothing, stranger. We just strongly discourage it. Strongly discourage it? Uh, okay, I can respect that. So, can you let me through anyway? We ain't shopping you. We just strongly discouraging you. Well, it's easy, really. Each one of you just has to take one step, no, half a step in the opposite direction, and we're all happy. We ain't stopping you, stranger. But we ain't moving either. Allow me to introduce myself. My name's Buzz Kerwin, and I'm a tourist here in this beautiful seaside town of yours. Martha. Martha Webfoot. Liz here's my husband, Silas. We's the Fishmuth Citizens Brigade. Proud volunteers. Just watching over things, making sure the festival gonna go smooth. That's our job now. The festival? That ain't got nothing to do with you or your kind. Yeah, that's why we strongly discourage you from entering Fish Month. But I'm a participant. Really? Judging by your accent, I would have said Eastern Orthodox. No, I mean I'm part of the festival. Then you're either a pilgrim or you're one of them entertainers. Pilgrim you ain't because you ain't got the garb. And you sure don't smell like one. So that'll make you an entertainer. Let's see that entertainer license. I'll be back. We'll be here. Hello. Good evening, sir, and welcome to our info point. My name's William LQPW Watersworth, and I'm an official representative of the Fishmouth Tourist Board. What can I do for you today, sir? I'm here to visit Fishmouth for a while. If I may say so, sir, that is a horrible idea. Yeah, I thought I'd... Well, what? Did you just say horrible idea? Why, of course. Fishmouth is a run-down, rotting, almost abandoned mockery of a town. Nothing to visit, the people are anything but hospitable, and we're really not accepting of strangers during this particular time of year. I thought you represented the Fishmouth Tourist Board. I do. You're a tourist, correct? Am I not informing you, sir? I do not see how this is confusing. You said you're not accepting of strangers this particular time of year. Are you more accepting at other times? No, not really. No. 
Is it me, or are you going out of your way to drive people away from Fishmouth? Oh, we only have the tourist's best interest at heart. The best thing a tourist can do in Fishmouth is not be one. Be one what? A tourist in Fishmouth. Why do you not want me in Fishmouth? Oh, sir, you might have misunderstood. It's not that we don't want you in Fishmouth. We don't really want anyone here. Ever. Is that an economically sound attitude you guys are having as a community? It is the will of the majority, sir. Mr. Watersworth, I will come clean. I am one of the entertainers. What is this you speak of, sir? I don't understand. Let's drop the pretense I'm here for the festival. Official entertainer. I'm uh, supposed to pick up my license here. You are very, very, very early, Mr... Yes, uh, I wanted to get a feel of the place before my performance. I it's a habit of mine. Don't worry, I've arranged for my stay in advance. Very well, sir. What type of entertainment should I look under? I am a renowned magician. Magician? We have no magician's book, sir. One might say we have the real deal here in Fishmouth. Hmm. I can disperse an audience in less than 30 seconds. That's entirely too general, sir. Most of our entertainers fall within that category. I'm a stand-up comedian. I would not have guessed, sir. Let us see here. No comedians listed here, I'm afraid. <laughs> just kidding. Hilarious, sir. I have this talking cat. All right, let me see here. Mr. Tornston and his horrible singing beast, is it? Sure is. Oh, no, it isn't. Well, what do you know? It does speak. Oh, do make it sing, Mr. Tornston. It's time to stop being so modest, kid, eh? The public wants you. Uh, besides, I think Mr. Watersworth needs to be convinced of your singing abilities, lest he just uh, give some imposters our license. Quite right, Mr. Tornston. We will talk about this, Mr. Tornston. That was something, indeed. Memorable, huh? To say the least, sir. Here's your license, Mr. Tornston. Enjoy your stay, and... I know, I know. Keep out of everybody's business. Have a great evening, Mr. Watersworth. Doubtful. Goodbye. Well, I won't just swap the man's liquor from under his nose, but I doubt he'll be missing that label on the bottle, right? I can't just swipe one. I better talk to the clerk. I can't just swipe one. I'm not your personal miniature thief, Buzz. <laughs> miniature. Cute. A cornucopia of... You should not be using words you don't know the meaning of. <sighs> A lot of creepy paintings, mostly fishing related. Not her type of art. Not her type. I can't j Some kind of fishmouth themed fridge magnets.
I'm not your person. <laughs> Miniature. She can't read floppy disks. She can't read, period. That's what you think. Kitty cares nothing for fridge decorations. Hello there, sir. Buzz off. Actually, funny thing about that. I mean it, out-of-towner. Okay. Hey, kid. Good evening, sir. I'm Buzz. What's your name? I'm Annie. Annie Pole. This is my doggy woggy Tad. Nice to meet you, Annie and Tadpole. What are you drinking there, Annie? Dolphin's milk. It's really good for you. Very nutritious. Yeah, uh, I bet it is. Hey, Annie, think you could spare some of that dolphin milk? Mmm, I would, but I might need to share it with Tad a bit later. See, he's really hungry, and my cousin's running really, really late. Oh, poor Tad. Poor Tad. So he likes milk, huh? Not really. He'd prefer a sandwich. But he'll have to settle for milk, because it's all I've got. Got it. Is uh, everything okay with Tad? What do you mean? Well, his eyes are, uh... Wide apart? Yeah, he just sees more that way. He sometimes misses things coming straight at him, but I keep an eye out for them. That's nice of you. So, what you up to? Just waiting for my cousin. She was supposed to show up a half an hour ago. It's not like her to be this late. What's your cousin's name? Priscilla. Whoa, really? You, you know her? Maybe. Well, uh, hope she shows up real soon. Yeah, me too. I hope everything's all right. See ya, Annie. Later, Buzz.
green light shining through this particular door's window. Hello? Go away. Oh, but you see, I'm just interested in local culture and... Go away. Okay. Hello? Go away. But maybe I have a very important message to deliver. Go away. <sighs> Mr. and Mrs. Webfoot. Here's my entertainer's license. Huh. I'll be darned. Horrible singing pet, huh? Hey, didn't you say your name was Kirby or something? Uh, Tornston is my stage name. We just might be attending your show, Mr. Tornston. Welcome to Fishmouth. Keep yourself, and don't do no nosing around if you don't have to. Gotcha, Silas. See you folks around. There it is. That's Finman's over there. I don't know, man. It's been all fun and games so far, but this place is giving me the serious creeps. Can't argue with that. Gliding down through the dark green water. Yeah. Good evening, good sir. Evening, stranger. The name's Buzz. Buzz Kerwin. Nope, that's wrong, I'm afraid. The name's Milton. Milton the Mechanic. Uh, no, I mean my name's Buzz. I didn't know they named kids Buzz anymore. I thought that was considered cruel and unusual. What can you tell me about Fishmouth? Well, I don't know how you made it in, but the sooner your non-local hides is out of here, the better. Us Fishmouth folk don't like out-of-towners, no siree. And the order... The... order? 
Uh, never mind, I'm just talking crazy. Been playing too many of them blasted video games, you know? Make you dumb, they do. Yeah, that's what I hear. A mechanic? Is that your surname? Yes, sir. Maybe you heard of us if you're from round Miskatonic. We're a distant offshoot of the Kingsford the Plumbers. They hate our guts. Sorry to hear that. Nothing to be sorry about. We hates their guts, too. Just straight up gut hating back and forth. Always been the way in our clan. It's nice to have traditions. Sure is. Is this your truck you're sitting next to? Sure was. It's dead now. Bleeding oil all over the road like them, like them zebras, you know, on National Zoo TV. Them poor, poor striped horses. Uh... Used to watch them shows a lot as a kid. Always got to me how them critters was meeting their end. I mean, a lion's gotta eat, but us human? Man, we can do better than that. I made me a choice back then. You became a vegetarian? Hell nah. In Fishmouth? You crazy? We put fish in everything here. Nah, I swore off zebra meat forever. Never felt better, never felt the need for it. But yeah, the truck's mine. So, are you doing anything about the truck? Nothing. Sitting here, hopeless, despairing, eating my tasty fish sandwich. Bon appetit. Nah, it's just tuna. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. Hi there. You staying at the Finman's tonight? I... I might be. Good luck. <laughs>
What a great evening in Fishmouth, isn't it? Evening? Yeah, I suppose it is evening. Mm. I don't know what you find so great about it, though. Uh, you know, the salty sea-scented breeze, the smell of rotting fish, the, the distant thunder. Charming. <coughs> Mr. Finman, I presume. That's me, yeah. Nice hotel you've got here. Nice. Ain't nothing nice about it. We don't do nice in Fishman. There anything I can do for you, stranger? I'd like a room, please. I'd love to help you out, sir. We's all completely booked up. Really? I only see one key missing on that wall behind you. Ain't you been snooping around? Got a bunch of pilgrims coming over for the festival soon. That one standing there is the first of the bunch. Booked the whole place they did. Don't bother wasting your breath on him. He ain't talking nothing. You ain't from Fishmouth, is ya? I can smell it all over you. While you come here. You're a direct man, aren't you, Mr. Finman? <coughs> yeah. And I've been known to judge a man. He was nosy. And skinny. Too skinny. I try to eat right, Mr. Finman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so do I. <laughs> Sorry. M must be this uh, hunger I guts up in me. What is so funny about that? Oh, nothing. Fish with humor. You ain't got the stomach for it. <laughs> Sheesh. What's this festival you mentioned? Nothing you should know of. That's our business. We fish... <laughs> Fishmouth folk. It's Fishmouth business. We got our own to look up to. Don't need your funny-smelling outsiders telling us what to do and who to listen to. I might just hang around and check it out if it's happening soon. That's not to be advised, Skinny. The order don't take kindly to stranger. The order? What order? Nah, never you mind now. Aw, oh, come on, tell me. I'm here. Might as well learn a thing or two about Fishmouth. The only thing you need to know about that there esoteric order is that they don't want you here. So you best be on your way. That's all I can tell you. So about that room. We's all booked. See that pilgrim standing over there? Him and his kind done booked up every single room except the one. About to arrive any minute now. Otherwise, I love to serve you. <laughs> Maybe it's me, but did that really warrant such a laugh? Ah, uh, think nothing of it, stranger. It's the hunger, you see. My stomach's growling is all. Makes me say all kind of things. Pay no mind. Can I interest you in this cookie I've got here? I'm a, I'm a meat man myself, but right now I could eat just about anything, I reckon. If it ain't meat, though, I gots to wash it down some, and I ain't got anything. Mm. You mean like alcohol, right? You was pretty smart for a stranger. All meat, huh? Got any preferences or anything goes? Oh, I got my 
preferences. <laughs> Sorry, Skinny. Don't be judging me. Look at yourself, all oh, skin and bone. Nothing on you worth mentioning. Uh, what? What'd you mean? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> How come you don't have any alcohol around? Been no need. We've been having plenty of meat around here. Till it stopped coming, that is. Be arriving for the festival soon, though. Ain't that right, Pilgrim? Them, them brothers of yours arriving soon, eh? <laughs> uh, I don't get it. Are the Pilgrims bringing you meat? Oh, yeah, 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 you could say that. You could definitely say that. <laughs> That's one exceptionally jovial innkeep. Anyway... Oh, so the one occupied room is this pilgrim's? No, it's someone else staying there. Can you tell me what his name is? Here at Flinman House, we value our customers' privacy. Uh-huh. Has, uh, has the guy in the room brought you any meat? Butcher, fancy yourself some kind of detective or something outsider? What's with all them questions now? I'm just curious by nature. Too curious, you ask me. No place for your kind here, outsider. Just wondering how come your one customer hasn't provided you with any meat, that's all. He's a stranger in that one. He ain't nothing like our usual customers. Pays damn well, too. Gold, stranger, gold. We is locks our gold up in here. So gold is popular around here, huh? Used to be... Mm. You asking way too many questions, Skinny. I'm here to see this gentleman. He ain't come down in a while. I don't reckon he will anytime soon. I wouldn't wait if I were you, stranger. You know, getting constantly called a stranger and an outsider tends to be a little grating after a while. Have you considered that? We don't take... Kindly, gotcha. Ugh. I gotta run. Take care. Stranger. <laughs> yeah. Nothing to pour it in. I don't think this one opens. I don't think this one opens. Hello! Okay then. Huh? 
Are you gonna eat your second sandwich? Now that's a very personal question, Mr. Curlin. What of it? I, uh, would like to have it. You would, wouldn't you? Well, I tell you what, I'll trade you for it. What do you have in mind? I have a craving. A craving for something scrumptious. A human heart, perhaps? Yours? Huh? Oh, I'm awfully sorry. I don't know what came over me. Been playing these dark sci-fi adventure games. They've been messing with me. True as I'm sitting here and telling you. Murder simulators. Awful stuff. Indeed. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Get me something refreshing. And you got the sandwich. I think you'll like this can of Dr. Fisher. Why, I sure will. Dr. Fisher's trademark. My favorite. It's gonna go down real good once I'm done with my sandwich. Made with the finest, most odorous fish mud water. Mm-mm. A deal's a deal, Mr. Kremlin. Here's your sandwich. Enjoy. Thanks, Milton. Enjoy your other sandwich. Catch you later, Milton. You probably will. My truck's dead. You couldn't pay me enough to live there. I might be a poor student slash librarian, but she has some living standards. Fish, I'm not a fan of badly decayed ones, even less so. As I was walking down Paradise Street to me, way, hey, blow the man down. A pretty young damsel that chance for to meet. I give me some time to blow the man down. She was round in the counter and bluffing. She said unto me, way, hey, blow the man down. There's a spanky.
Mr. Zadok, got you a little something. Mm, what is it? It's a special kind of liquor. Very exotic import. Liquor? Says so on the label. Now, don't expect it to taste like regular hooch. It's very exotic. Supposed to have a real kick to it. L let me see that. <sighs> Smells like nothing I ever smelt before. And I can't say it's bad either. Whew. What is this double rip, boy? Kinda got me feeling all fluttery inside. Special import. Supposed to really get you going. I'll say. Why, I feel refreshed as ever. It's like, it's like this curtain slowly lifting off of me eyes and mind, son. Oh, you done all Zadok a mighty good one. Can you get me more of this stuff? I'll let you know what it is and where to get it. But I'd like that bottle of whiskey in return if that's all right with you. Ah, take it. Who needs that stuff? I can safely say this has been a full-fledged epiphany, Puzz. Hey, you remember my name. Thanks. Not a problem, son. Boy, do I feel good. I just might get up and walk around a little later. Good to hear, Mr. Zadok. Now that you're refreshed, care to tell me a bit about Fishmet? What is it you want to know, Buzz? Why is everyone so secretive here in Fishmet? Where do I begin, my friend? See, we're stuck of a curse that wants to most of Fishmont's residents' blood, turn them into fish and toad-like things. And then they dig to the water. But that's not even the worst thing. You'd think that's the worst thing, wouldn't you? Oh, there's worse. And I've seen it with my own two eyes, hanging around the abandoned factory up Elliott Street. Seen them, hideous fishmen and octopus like monsters. Caught a glimpse of them in the moonlight. Heard their awful noises. Horrible. It were horrible. The curse. Nah, Buzz. It weren't the curse. These things were not born this way. They was mutants. Abominations. Cobbled together from fish and man and squid. The butcher. That's who they whisper made those things. Who's the butcher? <laughs> I don't know that, Buzz, but I suppose it's some shady character that's in cahoots with the esoteric order of Dagon. And they're raising hell in a fishmouth. Raising hell. Literally. How can I get to this abandoned factory? You can't now. They've shut off those streets. In preparation for the evil festival. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric order of Dagon! Fish with folks worshipping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshipping Dagon and sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Crackham Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofa. Half go what? To have Goofa, huge ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big, since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. Ever heard of a man called Bob Olmstein? Can't say I ever did. He's supposed to be staying at the Finman. The Finman, huh? Uh, folks lodging there have a habit of disappearing without a trace. Sneaky fella, that Finman. Slippery as an eel. I've got a confession to make. What's that, Buzz? The whiskey I gave you that you love so much. That's actually coffee. Whoa, 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 what? Well, I'll be darned. You sure I pulled a fast one on old Zadok, haven't you? Well, good on you, Buzz. But you know what? Good on me, too. Because I guess you can teach an old dog new tricks. I guess I love coffee, and I gotta live with myself now. I just might be hooked on it. Well, better than whiskey. You're right, Buzz. And when you're right, you're right. Right? Right.
What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric corridor of Dagon. Fish with folks worshiping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshiping Dagon and sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Kraken Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofer. Half go what? The half goofer. Huge, ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big. Since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric order of Dagon. Fish with folks worshiping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshiping Dagon and sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Kraken Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofer. Half go what? The half goofer. Huge, ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big. Since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. What's this esoteric order I keep hearing about? The esoteric corridor of Dagon. Fish with folks worshiping the deep ones. Dagon's their high priest. Supposed to be this huge amphibian thing. That's what the festival's about. Worshiping Dagon and sacrifices they bring to him. Sacrifices? What kind of sacrifices? I shudder to think, my boy. But what I can tell you is that they're raising something over in Kraken Bay. And if you ask me, it can only be the half goofer. Half go what? The half goofer. Huge, ugly sea monster. And yeah, I reckon that sucker's gotta be big. Since they ain't letting anyone anywhere near Kraken Bay for a year now. Completely cut it off. No way to enter it from anywhere. I'll see you later, Mr. Zadok. God bless you, boy. Take care. <laughs> Better talk to Mr. Finman, got you a little something to wash down the cookie with. Let me smell that. Oh, you did good, stranger. You was mighty kind. Mighty kind, I tell you. Ah, uh, that hit the spot. And here's your cookie. You ain't tampered with this here fine piece of pastry now, has ya? Oh, God forbid, no. Down the hatch! <laughs> Good. Thanks, stranger. What? What you standing there all expectantly like that for? Oh, nothing. What? You expect me to kill over or something? <laughs> Boy, I got a stomach line with steel myself. I... What the heck? I don't know what you put in that cookie, but it wasn't working. I have no idea either. My roommate... Wait a minute. Care to explain what's going on here? Not until you explain what your business with Mr. Ormstein is.
I'm here about the fish. There was an, uh, uh, a fish order placed. You are not a very good liar. Well, there are two possible situations. Either your heart is full of darkness and deceit, in which case I suggest you turn around and run, or your intentions are pure and your heart innocent, in which case we can talk. My heart is not full of darkness. Boy, it sounds weird saying that out loud. I've been sent here by the voodoo gentleman. I understand Mr. Olmstein might play an important role in this occult situation I stumble into. Role? No, he plays no role. But what is yours? What part was assigned to you? Part? I'm just a librarian, sir. And this, this detective guy came looking for the, the Necronomicon. He type. Exactly. And then they kidnap him. Kidnap? Who kidnapped him? Search me. Uh, anyway, I've been walking around with this Necronomicon thing on me. You have it? The real one? It's gotta be real. May my cat start talking. Sup? Hello. Yes, that explains that. Well, that's us. What's Olmstein to you? You speak his name so lightly, I... Let's just say I watch him from a distance. Try and look out for danger, pointless as though that might be. Pointless? Why? I just might be a fly buzzing around a lion. Never mind. I don't normally get close to him, but if you do have the real Necronomicon... Here it is. Uh, an exception will be made. We'll walk up to his room, and we'll see from there. What else was I expecting? He's gone. Again. It might mean they're coming. We must stay vigilant. They? Who's they? Oh, too many possibilities in that regard. Oh my god, all this for nothing. It just keeps getting worse. You might as well at least tell me your name. Mine is Buzz Kerwin, and this is Kitty. You may call me Barnabas. I am... Uh, I am a protector of the other, a seeker of truth, and a hunter of evils. Must look nice on your business card. Okay, first of all, how do you know Don? I was the one who hired him to find the Holy Tome. It should never fall into the hands of madmen. Why hire Don? Is he an occult detective? No, but he is a damn good seeker. Well, maybe was. Oh man, don't say that. I'm sure he'll find a way to pull through. Madmen? What madmen? The Parish of the Starry Knowledge. The Esoteric Order of Dagon. Or the... The Butcher. Starry Parish? Foul worshippers of a thing called the Haunter, and the shining trapezohedron it dwells in. Ugh, geometry. I've heard of the Esoteric Order, what's up with them? Have you now? So you also know of what they're raising here, in Fishmoth? The half goofa? The half goofa? Those idiots. Those complete and utter morons. They have no idea what that can bring about. Well, neither do I, but are you gonna do something about the half goofa? They've cut off access to Kraken Bay completely. But I'll think of something. I must. The butcher? Tell me about the butcher. This is not the place nor the time for that. But what I will say is this. He must not have the Necronomicon. You must keep it away from him, at all cost. Sounds like someone I'd stay away from regardless. Do not underestimate his reach, and watch your step here in Fishmouth. 
Him and the esoteric order are likely in cahoots, and they're everywhere. Okay, so what does he want with the Necronomicon? To bring this world to its knees. Okay, that makes sense, sure. Anyway... About Olstein. If you're protecting Olmstein, how come you didn't knock Finman out earlier? That guy was definitely up to some gruesome stuff. Maybe Olmstein would have still been around. I was about to take him out. I had reserved all the remaining rooms just to make sure no one would intervene. Then you came along, and I had to be cautious. Maybe I still should be. You do walk around with spiked pastry on your person. Not spiked enough. But I'm kind of glad to be rid of it. Anyway... Can you describe Olmstein for me? Ha! Huh. That would be futile. He might appear different to you than he does to me. Or you might see him clearly and not be able to remember it an hour later. His nature is hard to grasp for all of us. But the voodoo gentleman described him as just, you know, some friend of his. Was he trying to deceive me, or...? There's no time to go into this, but that should not surprise you. Olmstein appears in different ways to different people. It is his nature. Wonderful. What did you mean by the other? Olmstein? What makes him other? Who is he, anyway? Though you carry the book, you must understand my reluctance toward telling you these things. Still, see here. Though he walks among us, he is not like us. Oh, jeez, with the cryptic talk again. Changing subject. So, he does this a lot? Disappear at the worst possible moment? It is in his ever-changing nature, yes. But there is always, always a little breadcrumb left behind. Uh-huh. Might as well look for it, right? Yes, I will... I will trust you to do that. I'll keep an eye on the stairs in the meantime. Get to it. <sighs> it's what I do. They're interesting, but not pick up and carry around. Definitely not souvenir material. Now I'm traveling light myself. I need nothing from there. Definitely not souvenir material. A particularly unattractive representative of the Fishmouth population. I need nothing from there. I don't have a reason to leave this room in such a radical way. That big window overlooks the smelly intersection outside. Looks like the only way out, so I guess Olmstein jumped. But we didn't see or hear anything. Hey, look at that. It's a pretty neat painting of the harbor. Accurate, too.
She doesn't care for birds. No, I should speak to him. Crow's feathers strewn all over the place. Is this guy some kind of bird enthusiast? The word you're looking for is ornithophile. I thought you couldn't read. Oh, yeah, uh, sure. I found this drawing. Can you make any sense of it? Ormstein's sign. Why would he leave it here again? What is it? What does it mean? I've seen it before, yes. I know not what it means, but... It must have been left here for you. Me? But how could he know I was coming? And why me again? Why me? It is the role you play in this, and questioning it is a waste of time. Role? What role? Finding the book was an accident. It was just bad luck. That is how the tome works. The roles are defined. But the book is pure chaos. Help me understand more about Olmstein. I need to find him. I need to change my cat back. That is your stake in all of this? Hey, that has a name, buddy. Sort of. How did you come to know of Bob Olmstein? That is a story for another time. <sighs> Why is his name Bob Olmstein? I mean, you call him mother and all that, but his name is so common. There must be a reason for that, but does it really matter? Not to me. What's Olmstein's game? Is it good? Is he evil? These are questions that I cannot outright answer with a yes or no. All I have is my belief and some suppositions, and the former is much more powerful than the latter. If they do exist, Maybe the answers are not meant for the likes of us. What we must do is play our roles. What belief? I believe I must try and stay by his side. And right now I am failing at that. What was Olmstein up to here in Fishmouth? Perhaps checking on some seeds he had planted. Oh man, I just know you're speaking figuratively and it's just that cryptic stuff again that drives me mad. No offense, but why can't you just talk like normal people? I'm not normal people. Of course you're not. But is there anything helpful you can tell me about Olmstein? <sighs> I can tell you some things, I guess. He might seem ever-changing, yes, but... Balance and rules, these too are in his nature. Self-imposed balance and rules. Uh, I'm sure you can be more specific than that. What rules? Do you ever watch the moon buzz koan? Yeah, occasionally. There is something about it, its phases. They seem to correlate to important events and to how he affects this world. But in which way exactly? You'll need to find out on your own. The Necronomicon. Why does it keep changing? The Necronomicon is chaos in written, volatile form. You seem to know more about it than I do. What is it? Ah, many things. We might call it holy, and we might be mistaken. Holy, as in not of this world. Uh, debatable, but do go on. It changes things. Sherlock Holmes over here. It chooses roles. It alters the very nature of things. But he does it when it wants, or when the stars are right. 
and if it makes its way into the wrong hands, it ends existence itself. Well, that's encouraging. But mine are not the wrong hands, right? Right? They're not the most competent. That much is clear. No, they are not. I think. What do its pages hold? What language is it written in? And what does it all mean? I've never read it, nor do I want to. All I have to go on are rumors and whispers, but both hold more and more power in this world. As for the meaning of the words, some of them are most probably incantations or instructions of some kind. Instructions? Yes, and stories. Stories? What stories? It does not matter now. You must focus on your next move. Would it be safer in your hands? You do seem to know a lot more about it. No! No. Maybe I fear it more than you do. But that is not why I refuse it. It is not for me to bear it. Yeah, I guess I need it to turn Kitty back. Yes, yes, you, uh, you need to do that. You said the book is pure chaos, but Olmstein is about rules and balance? How does that work? You make a good point. For a while now, I've been suspecting there must exist a counterpoint to the chaotic tome. If there is such a thing, it should be sought out before it's too late. Great, but I have no leads, no nothing. Can you help out in any way? I am considering it. Let me think about it. <gasps> what was that? I think they're coming. The stairs. Damn it! Quick, out the window! Are you serious? It's really up high! Have faith. You can make it. I'll hold them back. But I don't know what to do or where to go or... There's no time. Go! Go! Find peace. Find peace. Hey there, Buzz. Fancy running into you. Mr. Katai. Please, uh, call me Don. Welcoming town fisherman, ain't it? Yeah, lovely. Boy, am I glad to see you. You okay, Don? Well... I have no shoes, and I don't know where I'm running, but aside from that, I'm all right. You uh, headed my way. Got a thing or two to uh, catch up on. Let's talk about it in Darkham. Taxi!